I wrote another paper which I'm handing out with this pack of three that's stapled together and this one. So I'm up to five pages that I'm handing out at a time now. This is called 9-11 Helter Skelter. That ought to get some attention. This is a picture of the door where the Manson murders took place in 1969, at least those particular murders. It says pig on it. This is a logo for the FCC, which I found connected to this number. I did not have to put these two images together. They were already found that way. This is a picture of J. Sebring's 1966 Porsche 911 that was found at the property where he was murdered. He was one of those victims in that murder, in those murders. And this is a picture of the Twin Towers burning, which some people call 9-11, or refer to as 9-11. And I'm going to set this camera down and read this to you. The first 9-11s in regular production reached the U.S. in February 1965 with a price tag of around $6,500. I'm talking about Porsche 911 sports cars, of course. The name Porsche is of Latin origin and means pig, which is what was written on the door at the property where J. Sebring's 1966 Porsche 911 was found after the well-publicized Manson gang murders in 1969. About two years prior to these satanic ritual murders, the FCC met with AT&T in order to establish a certain universal emergency number which number was already common to Porsche. That same year, 1967, the movie The Fearless Vampire Killers was released, starring Jack McGowan, Ferdy Maine, Roman Polanski, and Sharon Tate, in which Sarah Chagall, played by Sharon, was bitten by a blood-sucking vampire character. Two years later, Susan Atkins actually drank Sharon Tate's blood in that merciless Manson gang killing. And it was Atkins that wrote pig on the door with, Sharon, with Sharon's blood. So I find it very interesting in this case that Porsche actually means pig. I also find it very interesting that the number 911 was adopted not only by the mines at Porsche for cars, but by the FCC also for emergency calling, and just a few years apart. Keep in mind that these things happened over 30 years before 9-11-2001, which is referred to as 9-11, when the World Trade Center murders happened. The number 911 also relates, in a way, to Abaddon and the locusts of Revelation. Revelation 9-11, and they had a king over them, which is the angel of the bottomless pit, whose name in the Hebrew tongue is Abaddon, but in the Greek tongue hath his name Apollon. Yes, indeed, the king over the locust spirits in Revelation is Abaddon, or in the Greek tongue his name is Apollon. And NASA got their Apollo mission name from a Greek god which is no God. Apollo 13 employees used a Saturn V rocket to honor their host of heaven and a Columbia shuttle for the queen of heaven, their fertility goddess. It's called elaborate satanic rituals at the expense of ignorant taxpayers. Apollo 1 to 17 missions ran from 1967 to 1972. What a major scam that was. So of all the verses which John wrote in the book of Revelation, I believe that Revelation 9-11 is Satan's favorite verse, though he won't claim it. And that's why the FCC chose 911 for an emergency number. They work for Satan along with the IRS to tax and the FDA to poison. 
they'll all be going out of business soon enough I say and I put a little smiley face there and that's what they get for fornicating with a certain whore who has major control issues Revelation 18 1 to 5 and after these things I saw another angel come down from heaven having great power and the earth was lighted with his glory and he cried mightily with a strong voice saying Babylon the great is fallen is fallen and has become the habitation of devils and the hold of every foul spirit and a cage of every unclean and hateful bird for all nations have drunk of the wine of the wrath of her fornication and the kings of the earth have committed fornication with her and the merchants of the earth are waxed rich through the abundance of her delicacies and I heard another voice from heaven saying come out of her my people that ye be not partakers of her sins and that ye receive not of her plagues for her sins have reached unto heaven and God hath remembered her iniquities so that was the end of the paper but I also want to say that detectives the detectives that worked on that case, on that Manson case, are trained to look for patterns. And there's definite patterns here, but the patterns that I show, they can't reveal because it would expose their employers, wouldn't it? So this is what's going to happen. This is what's in process of happening right now. The saints are gaining power, and the false powers are losing power. And eventually, the saints are just going to take over and rule, but they're not going to exploit. The, the saints of God do not, the real saints of God, do not exploit other people for personal gain, like these tax hookers and uh, money changer tithe collectors do. So this is what I was led to talk about today, and I was led to do this writing also to further press them into the knowledge of Christ. Thank you.